interesting to note the shift in discussions that we have with some of the executives in the world and how it changed from the past 10 years to where we are today. 10 years ago, it was all about cost and efficiencies. Today, the discussion is about gentlemen, master drilling, how can you guys help us to fast take access to all bodies? And I really think if you look and see and get a feel of the requirement from the clients, and I like to think that we probably keep ourselves busy with the real, real stuff. Something that can really move the needle going forward. It's all about fast and quality access to underground ore bodies. So um, our shaft boring system and then our tunnel boring systems, that all talks to how to you get you quicker from point A to point B. Then if you look at selective high grade uh, ore extraction, if you look at the image on the right hand side, this image is of the cutter head for the system that we're currently developing for African rainbow minerals. And initiatives like this could significantly impact operations, um, doubling grade, uh, halving the material that you move, and then that creates um, volume or availability in logistics and plant systems. It also helps that you don't have people accessing potentially dangerous areas, and it allows you to work continuously and, and remotely. If you look at um, digitization, it's all around efficiency and safety, um, managing operations and resources. Our uh, interest and investment in changing material handling associated with drilling operations will have a huge impact. It's, it's very similar to what you've had in the past in the transition in manufacturing where you had manual laves and that all of that uh, move to machining centers where people don't need to have access to working tables, moving parts. And the same with drill rigs. You don't need access to, to drill feeds. You don't need access to foot clamps. Um, you safely remove from those operations. And then also repetitive tasks like uh, lowering and pulling rods. All of that could be done with these robotic assistants. And then um, people in terms of where you're pulling inner tubes, and assessing the, the core and pulling core and logging it, um, that could all be done outside of this area in, in, in a safe area. Our order book, as we reported at the end of uh, 2023, uh, record order book of $288 million. This is slightly down compared to June, sitting at $271. Um, this is not a concern for us. Um, this is just a measure in a moment in time. And we can report back that we've already, in the subsequent months to June, increased our order book uh, with probably another $20, $30 million.